welcome back to the video. Hope you are having a wonderful Lilla, week. Lilla, as soon as I turn the Lilla, camera on, we're in my mind. Lilla. Yes, hello. What are we doing? Hi. <laughs> yes, so, hi everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Lilla, I am Erin, that is Madison. She doesn't let me film on my own. Um, I've done my weekly shopping again this week and I've been to Aldi and I did do a couple things at Tesco but not major things basically cleaning supplies and a suitcase um, but I will show you that anyway so if you guys have been watching I do my weekly grocery hauls I do my monthly grocery hauls and obviously we are on a big adventure in literally a month's time to go to America to live um, let me put you up here and get Madison um, oy, 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 oy. We are packing up the house. We've lived in for seven years and are getting ready to make the move to America and we're traveling around America for a year is the plan. Um, if you haven't seen my previous video where I explain all that. Yes. I know, but mama's filming. Can I have five minutes? Right, sorry. Had to get Madison busy with a snack while I finish this. So. If you haven't watched my previous video, a couple videos ago, I explained to you all the situation, my backstory, our family's backstory, what we're doing, what our plans are, blah, 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 <laughs> all the good chatty stuff. But I'm continuing on with all my um, weekly grocery, haul, grocery hauls and things like that, um, doing my best to keep my sanity. So chaos is ensuing in the house. The house is a mess. There's boxes everywhere. We are still still waiting on a closing day, an exchange date, whatever you call it. We think the 15th of August, August is going to be the date and today is the 27th of July. So two or three weeks now. We're hoping, we're moving in with my mom and dad. We are hoping that we're gonna get there probably not next weekend, the weekend after, or next weekend, move in, kind of have our stuff there, and then have a week or so to sort out the house, clean and deep clean and stuff, while Madison's still at child minor. Brody's okay, because he's on school holidays, but he's easy peasy, whereas Madison needs more attention, <laughs> as you can tell. So anyway, that's where we're at. That's the craziness of what we're doing. Um, this morning, I have been grocery shopping, but before that, we went to the mall, and I got some new... Um, sneakers because I needed some because I literally have two pairs and both have holes in them. I'm a usual mother that just doesn't buy anything for herself and doesn't treat myself but it was my birthday in the week. So which is like look what do you need and I was like I need trainers like I don't want anything else like we are packing everything so I don't need to pack another thing but I do need shoes like that's it. So I got some Nikes. Anyway I don't have them they're in the car I've left them in the car but went to the mall did that had some Starbucks like a weirdo, I went up and asked the lady, um, do you have any of the Starbucks Stanleys left? Like they released them on the 25th, which was Thursday. Today is Saturday. And I went and asked her, she must've thought you were a nut job. Like, of course we don't have any. Um, and they didn't, of course she's like, we sold out by 11 o'clock the day of, and we had people calling all day asking for them. Um, of course, but you know me, I did not make up, get my button gear to go and get them. And I was asking three days after they were released and she must've thought, what? We're not going to have any of that, will we? Like, how silly can I be? Not that I was going to buy one because they're probably way out of my budget that I was going to be prepared to pay for that. I do have a Stanley, which you probably have seen in other videos, but it's like a thermo kind of Stanley, a different type, which I really love and it keeps it cold. Love it, but obviously Stanleys are the thing at the moment. I like one and I love Starbucks, so. But anyway, we're going to America soon and I'm sure I can find myself a Stanley there. I could order one now, but I'm just cheap. <laughs> anyway, so that's what we did. Yeah, Starbucks. We went to Lego store. Brody got another set of Lego. He had some birthday money that was burning a hole in his pocket. I kept saying to him, leave it until we, you know, exchange your money. Leave it till we get to America. You can spend it. You know, it's literally more money, you know, because the exchange rate, blah, blah, blah. I'm trying to explain that to him. He had more like cash in his hand. But no, burning a hole in his pocket. So he's bought some Lego sets. And I was thinking, where am I putting those? Where am I putting those? Where are we starting? Because he has lots of toys that he's taking with us that we are packing to check into the plane to have for our, our trip for the year basically that we're living in the RV but it's packed to the brim like I don't know what else we could fit in so that's where we're at 
and I've come back gone to the grocery store with Madison she's had a major meltdown at the grocery store so put us all in a really good mood um she want um yes anyway so let me show you what I got from Aldi and Tesco this week okay so this is all that I got at Aldi this week um we are doing a bit of um green chef this week again although we have a trip planned this week because I have to go away for work down to Devon um so it's about four hours four and a half hours away from us where we live so I need to go for work for a couple nights so Rich has finished work officially on Tuesday so once he finishes work on Tuesday we are going to travel down to Devon ready for my work stuff and then come back on Thursday afternoon so they're coming with me because the kids you know I don't have to send her to nursery and Brody's off school so we might as well make a little trip out of it but we are having Green Chef which I'll probably cook the Monday and maybe even take with us down um to Devin because we are staying somewhere where we can cook anyway so here is what I've got to Aldi so just a few kind of lunch snack situations um I've got mostly stuff for meals but I'll tell you my um menu anyway in a minute so I got some mouthwash needed some of that um coke zero as usual um lemon lime flavored sparkling water you know talking about the coke zero like I had regular coke the other day because they didn't have coke zero somewhere and I just didn't like it anymore I don't know it's way more I don't know you get your body used to something maybe but that's my two pennies worth lemon lime sparkling water for Brody um and then I got some Dr. Beckman power foaming toilet cleaner they're like the pouches you put in the toilet and just let them foam and we've had those before and they've worked really well I needed those obviously we're going to try and deep clean this house ready to move out so they were coming handy a big pack of wipes uh six packs for eight uh with 80 wipes inside so that's a good deal i like to get them because obviously we go through them like wildfire with a baby and um, they actually have a 12 pack now that i saw on aldi today but didn't get that just got a six pack <laughs> um so i'm skim milk of course gotta get that i got myself some sourdough bread just the half a loaf that i used to get quite a lot i read somewhere that it's healthier to have sourdough rather than re regular bread so make me feel better about eating bread again health goals are there in my mind but yet not to commit really need to get myself together um some sesame bagels um madison's been liking bagels rich has been liking bagels in the morning so got some of those um some chicken skewers i just thought they would be a good little snack like to take with us on our little trip having the car on the way down there or just have you know just the kids can grab and go obviously i'd take them off the skewers for madison chicken strips with garlic mayo dip for brody he's now decided the garlic mayo is better than the barbecue who knew um and some pepperoni takeaway pizza just for an easy like throw it in the oven if i can't be asked to cook something or a lunch for brody while he's off school whatever it might be easy peasy um and then some more nappies for madison cauliflower puffs from madison i got some of the rigid lights crisp the two ready salted two salt and vinegar and two cheese and onions um for everyone else to share and then i'm really loving these at the minute the pretzel thins the salty pretzel thins they're really good um so i got a couple more bags of those hot dogs again another easy just option to have in the fridge madison will eat those brody will eat those put them in the air fryer for like four or five minutes good to go i got some more potatoes because i need them for um, a meal this weekend which I'll tell you my meal plan in a moment. Carrot sticks, just to go with the hummus. I haven't had those in a little while, so that'll be good. Ca uh, large carrots for a meal as well this weekend. Red Lister cheese, because always going through cheese and can always need it. Two packs of coffee, again, always need it. We get the beans, as I say every time, like because we have a beans cup. So got two of those to fill up our coffee machine. Two packs of bananas those bananas looked really rough this week like literally these are the best ones in the box so they're not going to be very good this week i don't think so but hey rich loves one a day madison will have one a day sometimes two which probably too many to have bananas um but she loves bananas um and then a couple meals again just to have take with us um on our trip easy peasy we've got some just bananas talking about bananas <laughs> for madison she has these fruit packs as like desserts after her dinner she loves those and then blueberries of course she loves blueberries i like blueberries so we get those every week as well so that is our haul from aldi this week I'm showing you real life situation here, right? Because the other weekend I did all the cupboards out with all my organization things to pack them into storage. And this is now what I'm left with, chaos. Chaos, 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 empty packets, things I don't know that's in there. Like this is what I have at the moment in my pantry and I'm missing my storage containers already. But this is why I store use storage containers. 
Some of you are probably looking at this thinking, yeah, it's fine. But to me, it drives me crazy. But anyway, that's what we're living like at the moment is just doing our best. <laughs> okay, and this is all I got from Tesco and something else, which I'll show you in a second. Three things, very liquid and oven product to clean out the oven. That needs doing so, so bad, the oven. Hopefully that'll help me out. Obviously doing it for the new owners. Right, and then this little roller travel suitcase for Brody to go on the plane. Um, yeah, we saw it in there last week and thought if it's in there again, cause there was only one left last week and I thought if it's still in there, we'll get it. And it was, so that's what we got. Um, and it's for the carry on for Brody. Mama. Yes, I know. So yeah, so Madison rolled this all the way around Tesco. She's loving it, but it is Brody's. Um, so yeah, it's for the cabin for carry on, um, get his little bits and bobs in it. It was 22 pound 50 instead of. 45 pounds so didn't think that was a bad deal it's like got like kind of like game controllers over it and stuff like a gaming kind of thing but yeah madison's loving it as you can see <laughs> okay so yes just ignore everything around in my house right because it's just chaos in here but anyway um so what did i spend today so i spent at aldi 50 pound 45 in total um and then at tesco i spent 28 pound obviously saving 22 pound 50 on the suitcase, which was great. So bargain of the day. So yeah, 28 pound at Tesco, 50 pound 45 at Aldi. And obviously the Umbra, the Ferry, they're like household items. So that'll go out of the household budget, not groceries. Um, and then also 49 pound on Green Chef this week. Okay. So just like about a hundred pound or so over a hundred pound for the week. Um, again, I didn't do as big of a, a monthly grocery haul as I usually do, which we saw last week, um, because we don't know, when, well, we don't particularly know exact times when we're out of here. So we don't want to buy loads of stuff and then have to take to my mom and dad's. They don't have as much room, you know, things like that. So we're kind of going week by week with groceries, some of the things, but doing our best as we say every week, always doing our best, right? Okay. So that is all I have bought this week. That is my totals, my menu, right? Okay. So Tonight is Saturday. We are having um, sausage and mash with some gravy, which I have the gravy. I have the sausages. I've just got them out to the frost. Obviously, you saw me get the potatoes. Uh, I've got some canned corn. We'll have that with it. Tomorrow, I'm having a roast dinner. I have all the other ingredients. That's why I got big carrots today because I need those for tomorrow. So that I just need to get out the freezer, the um, roast joint. Um, and then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, basically plan is Green Chef. Obviously, we are going away for a couple nights, but I can take the Green Chef meals with me because we can cook where we are staying. Um, and then Friday night, I think is burritos. Saturday, steak, I think. And then Sunday is past student bake, just something easy. But I think those weekend meals from Friday, Saturday, Sunday are kind of like interchangeable at this point because I will then be thinking to myself, what should I do? for the week, the weekend, you know, I'll go grocery shopping again. Um, on Friday, it might even just be that frozen pizza was, you know, um, yeah, that'll probably be where we're at on Friday. But again, it's kind of a lot more fluid this month with my monthly menu, but we're doing our best. I say that a thousand times a video, so I apologize. <laughs> so guys comment down below what you guys been doing up doing this week, what you've been up to, what kind of, good deals or things you bought at the grocery store this week that you would like to tell everyone about. Um, thank you so much for all your support and your comments and please like, and subscribe this video. Really appreciate you guys. Um, obviously more and more content coming. Um, once I finish work completely, which is in about two, oh no, three weeks, I finish work completely so I can put some more time and effort into the channel. Obviously working full time with the babies and you know, things is hard, but um, more will come obviously with the more adventures we have as well. So please like, and subscribe. Uh, thank you so much for all watching and hope you all have a nice week. See you next week. Bye.